Say his name three times and he will be summoned. Michael Keaton is back as everyone's favorite rambunctious spirit in Tim Burton's Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. Warner Brothers released two photos offering a sneak peek at the sequel to the 1988 cult classic, including one with the Batman actor donning his striped black and white suit and frizzy hair. Fans were greeted with a splash of nostalgia as the star looks just like his ghostly self again. The studio also revealed a photo of fellow returning cast members, Schitt's Creek, Catherine O'Hara and, Stranger Things, star Winona Ryder, as well as newcomers Justin Thoreau, The Leftovers, and Jenna Ortega, Wednesday. The four are seen standing side by side in stylish black attire at what could be a cemetery. Ryder will reprise her leading role as Lydia Dietz while O'Hara returns to play her mother Delia Dietz. Ortega, who has experience in haunted roles after playing Wednesday Addams in Burton's Netflix series, will portray Lydia's daughter Astrid. Thoreau will play Rory, with few details known on his role. Monica Bellucci and Willem Dafoe will also appear in the film. The Spider-Man actor told Variety in November that he is playing a police officer and a former B-movie action star in the afterlife. Keaton's return to the franchise comes after he portrayed his Batman once again in DC's The Flash, last year. I'm not an actor, Conor McGregor bears his backside and his nerves in New Roadhouse, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, will hit theaters on September 6, 2024 just ahead of the Halloween season. Below are the cast of the upcoming, Beetlejuice, sequel, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, the sequel to, Beetlejuice, will follow the Dietz family after a death leads to the return of Beetlejuice. The original film follows the deceased Barbara and Adam Maitland played by Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin, who hire the titular demon to get the Dietz family out of their home. Production for the film began in 2023 after years of talks and a failed attempt titled, Beetlejuice Goes Hawaiian. In 2019, Burton told USA Today that he doubted the sequel would come into fruition, despite the movie spawning a Broadway musical that year. Contributing. Brendan Morrow.